Good afternoon everyone, uh, my name is It's Today I'm going to show you how to make a shootable gun This is going to be a full tutorial um, but it, it's going to be cut by part So first part which is now I'm going to show you how to make the gun shootable Now there are two ways to make the gun shootable First is by um, by cloning a game object and just add velocity to it the second one is using a ray cast now the ray cast is much harder to use so since this tutorial is meant for a beginner so we're going to use a game object now let me open up unity 3d now this is a fresh scene what i have here is just add some terrain and save the scene that's all i also imported some um, standard assets like characters and environment that's all first uh character first person controller or first person character sorry prefab and fps controller drag and drop that to your unity and delete the main camera now you just left with the fps controller now for the physical gun uh, if you have a model of a gun there's no problem with that you can just import that to unity 3d since i don't have one i'm going to make a cube uh, to resemble the gun so make sure if you have if you have a gun which you made in i don't know the 3d model program uh, make sure uh, you place it under the first person character So since I don't have one I'm going to make a new 3d object cube I'm going to resize this to a reasonable size to be called a gun uh, A handheld gun uh, Too big. Uh, I guess this is fine I'm Just let us think that 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 is an AR now if you did this correctly when you move you should follow the camera all right now that's done we're going to create a script called shooting open the script or oh yeah open the shooting script in your favorite code editor I'm just going to use Microsoft Visual Studio you can use anything else you can even use notepad plus plus if you want to but I wouldn't recommend that just use or, or you can just stick with unity mono develop is fine first we're going to add the game object or the bullet itself public transform uh, barrel end now public um, public uh, on update no, no no not public on update I mean void on void update um, void update if input dot get key uh, the difference between get key and get key down get key will always it'll detect it continuously so when you keep pressing your the key that is being set to check uh, it's, uh, right here for sort key code dot uh, mouse zero which is the fire button of the key um, I'm sorry not that get key get button no yeah get key why is it not Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be capital S N. Now, different get key. Uh, get key will always detect it. So when you press the mouse zero button, it will continuously um, do something over here. Where I press the double slash, do something. But get key down will only happen once. So it's good for semi-automatic if you want to, but uh, this tutorial will foc this first tutorial will focus on the basic one first. So we'll get into it later uh, for the semi-automatic, but first uh, 
we're going to do this one first one by one void shoot okay over here shoot here then var um, bullet equal to instantiate which is clone clone the object yep the bullet comma barrel and dot position comma barrel and dot rotation then we're going to add some velocity uh, velocity uh, bullet dot get components widget body dot velocity is equal to bullet dot transform dot forward times uh, i forgot to add something here which is public in bullet bullet speed bullet speed yes that's all now drag your shooting script anywhere on your scene it doesn't matter it's going to drag it to the fps control itself the bullet um we're going to make the bullet which is 3d object i'm going to make a spear as the bullet resize it don't forget to add component physics and rigid body or this will not work it's going to name this bullet open uh, it's going to be done okay uh, open fps control or wh wherever you place the script drag and drop the bullet now the barrel and it's not your gun what you can do is uh, make a new quit empty game object and just move this right in front of your gun all right open fps control again and just drag and drop the barrel end barrel end so your script should look like this now your gun is ready to shoot no problem but yeah your gun is not ready to shoot i forgot one thing to add the bullet speed now i'm going to do 25 now it should shoot forward oh i forgot something uh the problem with this thing i'm just going to show you here if you just shoot a lot of this uh, eventually you're going to yep it's starting to drop my frame rate now yep it's starting to drop the frame rate because there's so many game objects in one scene now the way on how you fix this is it's really simple destroy bullet spawn time so basically you're going to delete the clone the bullet clone um, every three seconds make sure this is set to float now you have nothing to worry if if you're going to shoot like crazy so I'm just going to see here so yep you're going to spawn in three seconds okay now what we saw was a gun that shoots like water we don't want that we want a time before it shot so it'll look like a a real gun because real gun don't shoot like water actually mini gun i guess <clears throat> but i don't know a lot about gun so yeah now public bull um shootable public int wait before next shot i'm just going to default of half a second no not half a second uh one fourth of a second make sure this one is set to float and if shootable there we go what we have to add next is a enumerator since we're going to use a yield function here it doesn't work a uh, yield doesn't work with void so we're going to use a enumerator called um uh i don't know shooting yield uh, doesn't matter don't worry it'll show an underline red uh it's not a problem uh, because 
we haven't add a yield yet in the enumerator so yield return new wait for seconds um wait before next shot up oh, no 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 just a semicolon then should about is equal to true this one make sure it's should about is equal to false um i inverted it so this should be shootable 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 is true yeah uh shootable is make sure it's true now your gun it's not shooting correctly what did i do wrong oh yeah of course just remember <laughs> because we are not calling shooting yield yet so start curtain shooting yield nope not shoot i want a shooting yield that's all now your gun should shoot like a normal gun will do it's it's slow i know you can change the time the wait before next shoot it's all up to you so that's all for this tutorial on part one uh, on the next part i'm going to show you the, the amos system which would be pretty easy so stay tuned